They will be very different from one another, from the atmosphere, the philosophy, the taste of the champagne. Are you recording? Yes. <laughs> See you everyone. See you. From Paris. Yes. Bonjour from Paris. Buongiorno. Yeah. Bonjour from Paris. So we have come here in a champagne city at Epernay and we are going to do a vineyard tour. So we just came at Moy Chandon. Looking forward for it. So it's a whole day event and we are going to go and see all the vineyards in the champagne city. Bonjour! Bonjour. So we are looking forward for it. Moy Chandon and Dom Perignon. This is the uh, Moy Chandon. And we enter here now. Moy Chandon Boutique. Looking forward for today's day. And if you are a wine and a champagne lover, please do visit Champagne City. Say hi. hi. <laughs> Looking forward for day to day. Don't hurry on. First time getting into a vineyard, the cellar. And this is going to be an underground cellar. This is how the underground cellar looks like. This is the Moe Shendo. into the juice to elaborate the red juice to elaborate the red wine to use this red wine for the blendings to elaborate the champagne rosé so let's imagine now we have the juice the grape juice and this juice will be kept inside stainless steel vats for the moment uh, next step is the first fermentation now we are going to walking under the cellar you enjoyed it? Yeah. We're going to have a champagne tasting soon. After all the information that we had about how they make the wine. Very informative, very nice. All these bottles are full of champagne by the way. And the whole world gets their champagne from here. Like the production is done here and they supply it to the whole world. glass of wine here in the vineyard that's my first experience and I'm completely thrilled with my experience and I would recommend to everybody who loves the wine and the champagne And we know that it comes from Portugal. So do you have an idea what was inside at that moment? Wine. Yes. Pork wine, exactly. Mm. 
So, like Napoleon used to say about the wine and the champagne, of course, uh, that we deserve it after a victory, but we also need it after a defeat. Right? <laughs> Great. They have the keys. They are the only ones who are allowed. It's like the oldest okay. bottle of Maurice Chandler. They talk from time to time when they believe that the right moment is not existing. So we are extending that. We have more richness for the aromatic profile. And final and smaller bubbles. So this is just about the aging for the finest of the bubble. Is that something? A little bad bunny. Here's the bunny. Oh, so mm, just had a bite of rabbit meat. <laughs> so we are in a, a third wine tasting event, and this is called Don Champion. And we have an amazing big place to show us our. Oh, it's called Dom Cordron. That's their place, guys. Now we get into their museum. This whole place is theirs. Oh, wow. That's the like, traditional way of making the wine. Oh, wow. Ta-da! 